So far we have been considering when q of x has linear and distinct roots. However, what if the roots are repeated? When the denominator q of x contains the linear factors x minus a with multiplicity n, i.e. it can be simplified to x minus a all to the power of n, the partial fraction expansion is given by p of x over q of x equals c1 over x minus a plus c2 over x minus a to be squared all the way up to plus cn over x minus a all to the power of n. So let's consider the integral of x minus 5 over x squared minus 4x plus 4. So again, we cannot integrate this using either parts, substitution or direct. So we must consider a partial fraction expansion. So our first step, we need to determine the factors of the denominator. So x squared minus 4x plus 4 can be factorized as x minus 2 by x minus 2 or simply x minus 2 to be squared. So here when we factorize it we have found a repeated root of multiplicity 2. So that means that the partial fraction expansion of x minus 5 over x squared minus 4x plus 4 is given by some constant a over the root x minus 2 plus some other constant b over the root of multiplicity 2 x minus 2 to be squared. Now that we have the partial fraction expansion calculated, we can multiply across by the denominator, so x minus 2 to be squared, and in that case we're going to get x minus 5 over x minus 2 to be squared by x minus 2 to be squared equals a over x minus 2 by x minus 2 to be squared plus b over x minus 2 to be squared by x minus 2 to be squared. And again, a lot of the factors cancel out and we're simply left with x minus 5 equals a into x minus 2 plus b. And again we're going to use a trick. We're going to pick a value of x such that we eliminate one of the variables and then can determine the value of the other. So if we pick x equals 2, we'd have 2 minus 5 equals a into 2 minus 2 plus b. So a cancels and we're left with minus 3 equals b. Now you'll notice that we have no factor to try and cancel out b. However, as we have just determined the value of b, we can put in any value of x and hence determine the value of a. So if we pick a value, say x equals 5, we would have 5 minus 5 equals a, 5 minus 2 plus b, which is minus 3. On the left hand side we have 0 equals 3a minus 3, and solving we have a simply equals 1. So now that we've determined the values of a and b, we can substitute them back into our partial fraction expansion. So x minus 5 all over x squared minus 4x plus 4 is given by a which is 1 over x minus 2 plus b which is minus 3 over x minus 2 to be squared. So now the integral of x minus 5 over x squared minus 4x plus 4 is given by the integral of 1 over x minus 2 minus 3 times the integral of 1 over x minus 2 to be squared. So again we have broken up the integral of something we could not integrate into two smaller integrals which we can integrate. So again, if we let x minus 2 equal u in both of these integrals, what we're going to get is so u equals x minus 2, so du equals dx, and these integrals are given by 1 over u du 
minus 3 the integral of 1 over u squared du. And now if we integrate, we get ln u minus 3 times u to the minus 1 over minus 1 plus c. Simply ln u plus 3 over u plus c. As always, our final step of substitution, we replace u. So our final answer is ln x minus 2 plus 3 over x minus 2 plus the constant c.